Sainsbury's right now and I'm just looking around I usually come and get my modern rustic magazine here so that's why I came and I am just walking around and seeing I also kind of like like to just come and look at the home decor stuff here so that's what I'm doing now just looking unfortunately with minimalism I can't buy as much as I used to like pick here's the magazine so that's already got among other stuff and yeah that's what's happening <laughs> Michael is again proving <laughs> to be a hindrance to everything that I um, Michael no 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 stop it either you appear here or you just leave it alone do you know what I mean <laughs> spring here and you would not believe it's actually spring like it's freezing y'all see the layers on me right now like seriously it's like free insanely freezing I want to go and make trifle so I'm getting stuff I shouldn't tell y'all about like pouring cream and stuff like that um, Like I was saying, I actually can't find cream. There's no pouring cream, which is annoying. So yesterday I went shopping with you guys and then um, t I came back at night and I was so wrecked. I was like, there's no way I'm going to do this thing justice. So I ditched everything on my draw on my beside me on either side of me. And basically, um, these are the freezer stuff. I put them away and I've just taken them out now so that I can haul all of it. But this basically just sat right where it is in their bags because I basically could not film last night and it's just like a lot. Um, this bag right here, this TK Maxx bag has um, home decor stuff that I will haul about in another, I'll do a whole sit down chat type of haul video and I'll show you guys what is in there. Today I'm going to be haul like it's a gro grocery haul so it's gonna I'm just gonna include all my food stuff and grocery stuff and then do that haul separately mm -hmm.
so here is what I got first. I have um, color catcher here and then I have white and bright. I have does and I have just tissue in a box for my coffee table, my coffee table in the sitting room. I have Harpic for the toilet and um, this is Fabrice. I like this scent. I really, really, I know it's like a winter scent and we're in spring, but I absolutely just love it for my bathroom, my toilet. Um, this is my bleach. I use it for other stuff. These are my bin liners, like my paper bin liners for all of the bins in the house. And then I have, um, those are just sponges and like steel scrum, scru scru scrubbers for like pots and all stuff like that. And then here I have tea bags. These are the best tea bags. If you like your tea without sh without milk, these tea bags are literally like the, like I like a really strong black cup of tea sometimes with no milk. And it's hard to get tea bags that can give you that cup cup of tea without milk and still taste nice. These are Tesco um, value ones. They're like twenty five p a pack, and honestly, they are the best tea to take if you don't want any milk in it it's so good and then here there's a stack of ramyun i love um this is the only noodles that i eat this i got i've never tried these hot ones but me and michael were thinking of doing like a a hot noodle challenge video like see if we can eat a bowl of this apparently it's supposed to be very very hot so if you guys want to see that let me know in the description below and then I have these ones are the normal ones that I always get. I I really, really love this. They're just like the best noodles on earth. So they're like ramen, um, kimchi, like um, that is kimchi. And then my other favorite is a hoda one. This is like a hoda, a hoda um, ramen noodles. And they're just like the best. They're Korean, I think. And they're like the best thing ever. And then dark red kidney beans. Ooh, the light is yeah these are the beans that I love to cook all the time and then pounded yam you guys have seen me I always get a, a, a small pack of pounded yam basically just if in case I need it and stuff on this side here I have just a ton of spices so let's start here there is uh, barbecue seasoning crushed chili um, that's pimento uh, onion powder this is um, garlic powder and it all just makes like my spice I get this from like in the Asian market here in both us chili powder and then M&Ms apparently those are spices too no I have um, organic garlic and herb and then I have onion, French onion, organic French onion. They're just cubes. And I like they, I like them to mix in my food for spices. And then these are a blend of like a few different spices and salt. So this is like seasoned sea salt. It's already like it's got a few things seasoning. I'll show you guys the ingredients here. Oops. There. So that you guys can just read. You can pause the video and just read if you want to know. So that's what is there. I got two of those because I literally run through these um, spices. I get these interesting spices from TK Maxx. So basically, I like got these from like um, TK, Spi TK Spice, TK Maxx. And I just love to like try new and different stuff. I also have parsley here. Uh, I got two bottles of like parsley. It's like parsley. And then I have red um, pesto. This is for the pasta right here that you guys see. I have, um, this is sweet pepper, garlic, mustard, and this is just for basically like meat and stuff. So I got that from TK Maxx as well. I just love TK Maxx for all these like weird, this is another, another pesto, another one of the same one um, that I just showed you guys. Um, this is African peri peri, um, again for chicken. It's just hot sauce. This is um, organic thyme. Some jelly. I love making, um, what you call guys? I forget. Um, literally, I've just gone blank over it here. 
um, anyway, trifle. I love making trifle, so I get some jelly all the time just in case I want trifle and I, I don't have that. I have some um, sunflower oil here. More. Um, this is another spice that I have as well. It's like seasoned. Uh, a whole lot of spices, again, blended together. I'll show you guys on the ingredients pack. And again, let me hold it properly so you guys can see. Again, you can pause that and see that. And then I have like more hot sauce. Michael also likes hot sauce. Every time he comes, he's asking for hot sauce. So um, that's more, this is sweet chili. I love sweet chili. There's my tissues right here. I have some snacks over here. There's a pack of Doritos, some sweets, foxes, which I've already opened and dug into. Some biscuits. These are just like um, ginger nuts. And then I have oats. Um, Otis biscuits and then I have tuna because I love a tuna bagel in the morning for breakfast and then I have smush which is like mashed potato powder um, it's like an instant all you do is just add water and it makes mashed potato for you basically for those lazy days when I don't want to do nothing and then this is um, cheese for snacks at like movie movie night um, this is rice krispies it's such an interesting little it's like this tiny little container it also has this i don't know what this is for but it's just like this tiny little container it was like a pound it really really interested me so i want to try that out it's so i think it's like a, a a travel curry away breakfast thing and then there's just some drinks some pepsi some other boy i love this drink yo it's so good and then here is just some kitchen towels for my um for my kitchen and then i have custard i always get a box of that just because I, I like making my custard like from scratch and then i have this over here flipping over so that's the whole thing on one side and then i have some eggs here two two packets of eggs and then flipping over fully to this side we have um this is standard stuff it's a taco kit but i don't use everything in the taco kit i just use the taco shells which is what i use and then the beef and then i make everything myself and put it in myself this is beef lasagna i got two of those they're really nice and then i have um hash browns there are like two packets of hash browns some garlic bread in here. Um, this is chicken, southern fried chicken wings. And then this is like paradas and some cheddar, mature cheddar and another grated cheddar. I have samosas here. I think I have like about how many, how many? another Coke bottle. <laughs> That's so bad for me, but 10 chicken samosas. And then there are four more packets here. So I've got four packets of the samosas. And then right here, I have already dug in. I have just fruit that I used to make different things. And that's just that. And then, oops. I forgot to put that away. And there's just some cream right here for like the trifle. And just some fruit, more fruit down here, which I've already dug into. And I was eating. So that's my grocery, guys. Now I just put it all away. And usually that's what I buy. I would do a fridge tour at some point. And maybe you guys can get a, a more like in-depth of what's in my freezer. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also bought meat. Hold on, let me take it out. From my fridge. I also bought meat. Here is the meat. It's just like a pack of chicken, boiling chicken and some like... um uh, what you call that oxtail and some boiling meat and all of this I'm going to cook into like a meat soup which I eat with this um, this wraps right here it's so delicious oh and I also forgot to show you this guys this right right here is like a Cornish pasty it's the best thing in the world. Like this thing is like the best pasty ever. If you haven't tried them, you've got to try them because they're so good. So yeah, guys, that's my entire haul. And what I bought. The other things I've opened them, so I'm not even going to go into that. Like, But yeah, so that's everything. And I'll just like pack it back into the fridge and freezer now. <laughs>
guys i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in today and i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. so guys this is the meal ready so you have your meat samosas on the side and you have your wraps right here and you have your sauce to dip it into look at how good that looks that is so good and it's really really hot so it's like the nicest thing ever so yeah so how you eat this is that you break a bit of the the wrap with your hands dip it in in the sauce and take some meat and just eat it literally that's how it's eaten that's why how i eat it anyway